Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Vividbrite brand. This is their mini Pico LED projector. Now this thing is just really cute, very small. And I'm gonna go over all the functionality of it. Comes with a nice remote and a power supply with a US 115 volt plug on there. And this part here plugged right into the back. We're gonna show that. That's the front lens. This is the infrared sensor. They have a little smiley face on there. The lens can be focused. There is a focus dial right there. To change the size of the image, you just move it forward and back from where your wall is or your screen. This is the main power switch right there. On the bottom, it has rubberized feet, keeping it nice and solid information about the product. And there's also a quarter 20 standard thread on there so that you can use a tripod, a small table one or a large tripod, depending on what you have. On the back of the unit, it has the power plug, which this is going to fit into. That's a micro SD card that you could load videos to play on there. That's a headphone out. Also, also can be used as a, a line out for if you want to have a separate amplifier. There's an internal amplifier in here for sound. That is a USB port and that could be used to have videos on also to complement uh, this micro SD card. You can also do firmware updates on there. On the menu, there's a firmware update if you need to. Right, that's an HDMI port that's going to handle your video and audio, which is on your HDMI cable. And that's where you're going to connect it to your Blu-ray player, your DVD player, your, your satellite box, or your internet service box right there. And that's where you're going to get audio and video. This will support up to 1080 progressive or 720p progressive. The native resolution of this unit is 480 by 320. And then it's going to it's going to downscale anything higher than that and project it for you. It's very cute. You can see it has nice holes for cooling to cool off the fan all the way around the unit itself. We're going to test the functionality of We're going to project some videos and some images on there. The remote itself has power, speaker mute, volume up and down, and these are other things. This is a back button, and this is how you're going to get to the menu. We're going to demonstrate that. Very simple. You just put in two AAA batteries. Those aren't included. You have to provide those. And you just close it just like that. The infrared transmitter is right there, and that's what's going to communicate to that front little smiley piece there, or to the back. There is a little infrared sensor right there. This will work with Amazon Fire Sticks, and as I mentioned, your TV cable box, DVD player, and laptop, or your netbook also. Anything that will drive this HDMI it'll work with and of course you can put videos on either one of these formats the USB port or the micro SD card and you can play them also now this seller offers a money-back guarantee for 30 days 24-hour tech support using Amazon you could also contact them at support at vivabright.com if you have any questions now in terms of the projection size of this if you want a 15 inch diagonal image, you're gonna move this projector back about 1.6 feet from the wall. So 1.6 feet will project a uh, 15 inch diagonal. If you move this back about eight feet, it's gonna go all the way up to a 77 inch diagonal. So we're gonna test that out and try and see what the optimal size for this is because it's not fully projecting hd i would imagine you want to keep it you know relatively small maybe something like a 30 inch diagonal something like that but we're going to test that 
I also want to mention that this unit is really tiny because I'm not sure the camera is going to show that, but it's only 4.7 inches by 4.3 by 3.9. So here I have the Vivavite Pico projector in my dining room and I'm going to project it on the wall right there, a three foot diameter or three foot diagonal image and I have it on a tripod to help me project it on the wall at the right height. Now I have a micro SD card that I put a video file on. We're going to test that first and I'm going to show you the menu on here. So the remote is right here and I could power the unit on in the front or the back. Gives you the acknowledgement. Fan comes down, starts cooling, and then starts projecting an image on the wall there. So you can see I have it in the SD card mode on the upper left right there. And when you use the remote, it's asking me if it's photo or music or movie. So I can remove, I can click the right side right there. and go to movie and then it's acknowledging so I hit the key right there and I'm hitting the micro SD card and it's loading uh, how do you get cracking? this lady rips us open this guy bashes us open and these kids bounce in our heads ouch isn't it kind of obvious how you get cracking? We wonderful pistachios grow so big. We never so when you hit the center of the remote, then it gives you a bottom you menu. With these guys? Of course, you could change the volume at any time. You can go to mute also. And then on the bottom of the screen, you have all the options for fast forward, previous, next. And you just hit this remote center and you can get to that menu and you can remove that menu also and hit the bottom button right there and the sound is really good that's no surprise it's got some some decent sound in there I bet they're it. green with envy wonderful pistachios we already got cracking for you now if you hit this right button right here you get to the menu and you have a choice of language picture mode standard and if you click the center right there you can control the contrast brightness so right now you have a choice of the picture vivid standard soft so we're going to keep it on vivid and go back there's a back button on here So I hit the menu again. Let's take a look. You have color temperature. You can scroll down here. Aspect ratio is auto. Sound mode standard. Surround mode is turned off. If you're setting it surround mode, you want to turn that on. You could flip the image if you want to for um, putting it in position of your projector. You have a factory uh, uh, reset or restore default. Then you have software update. Where you can get updates and put it on the USB stick and do an actual update if you want. Now I hit this button right there and I've got a choice of HDMI, USB. Now we're going to try a USB video. Now I put a USB stick in there and I have a home movie on there we're going to test. So I'm on the USB menu and it's asking me whether it's photo. So I'm going to click to the right and go to movie, hit the center button, select that file, and that starts playing. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places. So that's nice because you could, uh, you know, show home movies that you have on that card that you have on your computer. And uh, it's a simple, quick way to set up a screen or no screen right on the wall 
and then you could show your home movies to family. So here I have it connected with an HDMI cable and I'm in my home theater and I'm projecting it on my screen and I have it connected to my Roku player It sounds salad. good. It's got pretty good sound. Or chicken salad, or whatever's easiest. Probably chicken salad. Hey, uh, Jerome, can you give us a minute to discuss? What's more overall feelings about the Vivabrite brand Mini Pico LED Projector? I like this product. It's a very good consumer product, and it's very simple to use. And if you have kids, they're going to love it. If you want to project simple movies on here, or your home movies on your cards here, or your Amazon Fire Stick, this is going to work with that. Very simple, very effective, low cost. The lamp on here is going to last 50,000 hours because it's all LED. There's no high temperature quartz light lamp in here. I'm going to give this product a full five star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're alerted to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.